How do you feel about working four days a week? Well, that's the suggestion from the Green Party, who said the proposal could even be included in their 2020 manifesto. We're joining us to discuss this is Tim Campbell. He's a recruitment head at Alexander Mann Solutions, and he thinks it's a bad idea. An executive career coach, um, Jenny Garrett, and he joins us in the studio, and you think it's actually the way forward, Jenny. But Tim, I'm going to start with you. So how would your, yeah. how would your firms feel with, about the idea of a four-day working week? Well, I think it's a welcome conversation starter to have a look at what does work actually entail. And for many people, the assumption from this report is going to be that work is a bad thing. Thankfully, we work with a number of people at Alexander Man Solutions and a number of clients who actually enjoy coming to work. And what we're more focused on is bringing flexibility into the workplace so people can decide the hours when they work and the locations they work. The advances in technology mean that we can work from anywhere now in terms of whether you're at home, from a coffee shop or actually in an office space. So just to focus on hours doesn't automatically mean that things are going to become more productive. I mean, Jenny, when you look at the UK and how we work here, we work the longest hours and one of the longest hours compared to the rest of Europe. Is what Tim's saying meshing up with you? People actually like that? We enjoy working longer hours? I think the idea of flexibility makes sense. I'm not sure about people enjoying working longer hours and organisations demanding more and more of you. And the fact is we're going to have to work much longer uh, now. You know, retirement is not going to come when it used to. And I think um, actually being able to work flexibly, flexibly until you retire is much more important. So I think flexible hours are important. I don't think saying, OK, everyone, uh, stop on a Thursday and we have this long weekend. Britain's closed Friday, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday will ever work for us. So, but I do think the Green Party, it's quite it's interesting to make these sort of ideas, put them out there, utopian world, when actually, you know, in reality, you know, actually putting into practice might be quite difficult. I think, do you, do you think the idea then of, of imposing the, this ideal flexibility um, on companies, on firms, is, is that a good way forward? I mean, considering we're now getting ready to leave the, the EU, we might need people to actually put in a little a few more working hours to make sure that we're not going to be um, affected negatively as far as the economy is concerned. Concerned, is that idea of coming in and telling companies how they need to have their workers work for them, is, is that a good way to go? I do think it's a good way to go, but we have to remember there are lots of people who have five jobs and there are lots of people who have no jobs and there are people who are finding it really hard to make ends meet and people who are doing really well. And this could be a way of evening things out a little bit and actually ensuring some people who are not getting on to the, the, the career ladder, giving them an opportunity to get in there. I mean, Tim, you, you mentioned earlier that the idea that people actually mm. like working long hours it's part of their job it's what they do let me just put something to you that um, that was carried out a report that was um, carried out by the new economics foundation which is a think tank and it found that working a shorter week when they looked at individuals and it actually led to lower unemployment because it redistributed pay and unpaid work more evenly it led to um, better well-being people cared for each other more it just decreased entrenched inequalities it even even reduced some um, carbon emissions i don't know how that happened but, but essentially they found that people who worked um, less hours ultimately they had a better living better standard of living well, it, it, by those statistics, we should just all go and lie on a beach and be fantastic. <laughs> There's no worries at all, is there? No, but in all seriousness, I, I definitely understand with regards to if people are travelling in less more, then it can have an impact on the climate. So I can understand why the Green Party are focusing, and that's backed up by the report statistics you just talked about. However, if we really want to talk about climate change, I'd much prefer the Green Party to talk about reducing our, our intake of meat or the meat production industry, having a focus on that, doing some really hard stuff. Anybody who's seen a documentary called Cowspiracy would know about the impacts of meat production on our environment. But let's focus on the specific thing around work. For me, work is changing rapidly. We know about the automization, the digitization of work. For example, I'm sitting here in a lovely studio with automatic cameras, etc. So the, the, the reality of most people's work is going to change drastically for the next five or ten years. And for those businesses that are focused in the creative or thinking economy, they are really having to think about how do we motivate people in the best possible way. And one aspect of that is offering flexibility, as I talked about beforehand. But I think we need to be talking much broader if we're going to have a proper conversation about work, about what does work look like. We're already hearing reports of a universal wage coming around the corner because most of us won't have to do the same mundane task roles because computers or technology will take those over. I'd much rather the Green Party or other parties were talking about that and its impact on my children and them coming into work rather than worrying about four days into five. You say that, but... 
you mentioned about the number of people you know working very long hours and, and they are at risk of burning out and that ultimately will reduce productivity and also when you're looking at women in the workplace as an example women are more likely to obviously take maternity leave and they want to change the type of work the, the way they work once they have children and there are companies that there's a conversation that won't be had in any of those areas no, I think well, you, ra you raise a really good point about the gender equality of work environments and the reliance that has happened previously on women taking care of most of the childcare responsibilities. And I think, yes, definitely we should have a very sensible conversation about more flexible working environment for those who are responsible for our ch childcare, but that's a much bigger, wider quality issue. My thing is that if we want the UK to be a more productive com a country, then Having flexible working is one of the points to talk about, but also let's think about the things that make us productive in the first place. Yeah. Our focus on the financial industries or service-based economy, we should be getting much more support from government and other organisations to actually propel that as a thing that we're proud of and making sure our education system is supporting our young people to come into the workforce with skills that are going to be required. Okay, and really quickly, Jenny, it's interesting he's talking about the financial industry. There are industries where you can't really work less hours. You've got to put in the hours because, because of the nature of the role, as he said, the financial industry also um, in the NHS. And, and interestingly, over the weekend, there was talk about introducing duvet days yep. um, to teachers to try and get to try and recruit more teachers. Mm. Is, is this something that you could see working? Places? Places like the financial industry or you know in healthcare? I think it could work anywhere actually I think it's uh, down to making a choice and um, most jobs can be shared um, you know and I, so I think there is possibility for much more flexible ways of doing things I do think that the Green Party are under something in that actually organizations don't change unless they're forced to and you know if we have more transparency about and the amount of hours people are actually working perhaps then we can think differently and start to have the conversations Tim's talking about in terms of what flexibility Flexibility really looks like. Well, let's see how it goes. Out, out of everything that's been said, I think I'm loving Tim's idea of going out on the beach um, as a way yes. of working. <laughs> Tim, you've won that argument. Um, Jenny and Tim Campbell, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you.